Hey, good morning, Choice Residential. Hope your day's off to a great start. Um, so if you need to generate more leads, I've got a surefire way for you to do that. So as you know, success in real estate is predicated on building relationships and having more real estate related conversations with people. And so maybe you feel like you don't know who to call, you don't know who to contact, you don't know who to meet and have conversations with. Maybe you're brand new to the area. And so you just don't have a sphere of influence here. So how do you go have real estate conversations if you don't know anyone? Well, here's one idea that will get you face to face with people having real estate conversations every single day and give you a funnel of people to continue following up with while you build your sphere of influence. And that is to go out and preview homes. And when you go preview the home, go knock on five neighbors doors. Now, when I say knock on five neighbors doors, what I really mean is knock on doors until you've spoken with five neighbors. But just present the conversation with that neighbor, not in any kind of salesmanship. Don't take a, a, a clipboard with you because when they see you through the window holding a clipboard, they're going to think you're either a census worker or you're selling something for AT&T. Um, so just go up to the house. Maybe you pull up in front of their house. Or you park on the street, leave the car running, open your door. You can actually leave your car door open. You know, maybe not if you're afraid somebody's going to hop in and drive away. But the idea is letting that person know, the homeowner know, hey, I'm not here to sell you something and come in and sit on your couch and sell you a vacuum cleaner. You're just there asking a simple question, which is, hey, I am uh, previewing this home uh, next door or down the street or around the corner for a prospective client of mine. And honestly, I'm just trying to um, see what the neighbors really love about the area and maybe things that they don't love about the area that I can share with my client. Um, is there anything you can tell me about the area? And then just let them talk. A lot of those conversations will go really well. Some people may not want to talk to you, but have five of those conversations. And you can do that once a day. Go preview a house in an area where you would like to do work and then go have those five conversations. And you're just asking them what they like and you thank them for their time. If it feels natural, you can hand in your card and say, awesome, thank you so much for sharing that with me. Um, if you ever need anything, uh, here's my information. Um, now, some people may like that approach where you can just straight up ask, do you know anybody thinking about buying or selling or investing in real estate? I'd love the opportunity to earn their business. If that's your style, go for it. Otherwise, you could just have the conversation. Don't ask for any business, but you go home, you write down the address, you look up in the tax record, who owns the house, who lives there, and then you send them a personalized handwritten note thanking them for taking the time to talk with you. And you can include your business card in that note. So send that off to them. So now you've had one touch face to face. You've had a second touch with them, which is the handwritten note card, which nobody does anymore. So if you do it, you've got a leg up on everybody else. Then when that house that you previewed goes under contract, send them a little letter or a note that says, hey, your neighbor's house just went under contract. Um, as soon as it actually closes, I'll send you all the details so you can stay up to date on what's happening in your neighborhood. Then when it closes, you send them a follow up letter. And then maybe a month after that, you send them a market report of everything that's sold in the last six months or 12 months or year to date, something real estate related that shows them what's happening in their area. So now you've got the initial touch, the follow up note card under contract, uh, just closed, and then a follow up market update. That's five touches that you will have had with this person over the course of 30 to 60 days, let's say. And from there, you can start maybe having monthly or quarterly follow ups. Uh, little things like vendor recommendations, home anniversary letters based on when they bought their house, updates what's happening uh, in the mortgage industry, just little real estate related updates, not recipe cards, not football calendars, but real estate related uh, updates because you haven't formed a real relationship with this person yet. So you want to keep driving home the fact that you are a real estate expert so that when they have a need, uh, you're the person they're going to go to. This is a way to fill your funnel with people that you've now met face to face and you have a much more likely um, path towards converting them into business in the future or getting possible referrals from them. If you keep doing that, I promise you, as you add these people to your database and you consistently follow up with them, it is absolutely going to convert into business. You just continue to find ways to add value to those people. If you have questions about that or want to build out that plan a little bit more in depth, feel free to reach out. I'd love to help you with it. Otherwise, until next time, take care.